Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, welcome back to my work chronicle. So I'm outside right now, and I think this is gonna be like my new spot to record because, like, when I'm inside, I don't want other people in my conversation. Oh, well, I know I'm looking crusty today, y'all. And I was late to work again today. I just cannot. I can't do it. Like, spirit be saying no. And there's so many other factors, like, that be leading my spirit to say no. Not just the fact that I gotta be here, like, at the ass crack of morning, but, like, the conditions that I'm in, like. And then I just found mold in my room. Cause I know a lot of people have been complaining about mold in their room. And I had just found mold in my room. And maybe I'm late because maybe that mold be taking me out at night, you know? Maybe it be putting me in a deeper sleep than I already be in. Or maybe it's about that time. But I got a few other things on my mind. Um, I don't know, I recently had this person like trying to like re-enter my life like you know like a little cockroach i was talking to them like a little bit but mainly i was trying to just figure out like okay what does this person want like i was just waiting for this person to reveal themselves to me and they did that yesterday because you know somebody could come to you and be like oh i changed or whatever that's good for you but that don't mean i have to accept you back into my life I've also changed. I don't have a space for you anymore, you know? And it's okay to like, you know, move on from people and never speak to them again. That was my plan, but this person just insisted like, um, trying to re-enter my life. And I don't know, I feel like they be saying things that are triggering and something they said yesterday, it triggered me. And then I'm like, this person ain't Nigga, you ain't. You still the same bitch. You still the same. First of all, this person is a Sagittarius. And one thing I learned about Sagittarius is like, they always think somebody want them. Like sexually. They always think they they the one. You're not. I'm not talking about all of y'all, but from what I observed. Um... I don't know. Like, I feel like I can have a good conversation with a Sagittarius, but they could, they could easily, if I entertain, well, I know it's not just about what sign you are, because everybody is every sign. It just depends on, like, you know, because we are every single sign, just a little bit more and a little bit less of each sign. But, but yeah, anyway, he said something. What he say? He said, first he sent me, like, a song. Like, that's how Sagittarius is communicate too. They be sending you songs and shit. Like, and then the song was, I'm gonna just say how what it was. Okay, the song was um, Jasmine Sullivan and uh, Ari Lennox. I want to sit on it. Uh, but tell me why you deserve it. Yeah, so he had sent me that, that song and we haven't even been like communicate on that level so that's really when i'm like what the fuck do this nigga want like first of all i would never interact with you that kind of way ever again not only did you hurt my feelings you totally completely betrayed me like it was never a, a, a entrance over here open for you ever the door is closed the door was closed i was just trying to see where you want to and of course, some people, they just want to come see if they still have access to you. And everybody is not a good person. Some people really want to come into your life and disrupt your peace. And I feel like that's what I'll be putting past, you know, people. Because I always be wanting to see the good in people. But some people, they want to disrupt your peace. And it's not because they are peaceful. They might be at a at a point in their life where they not they don't have no peace you know i feel like it's up to the individual to decide if they want to entertain entertain that or not but i i he sent me that song and then i'm like okay like and i'm like oh okay that's nice like 
what the fuck do you want? And then I asked him like, what did he mean by like sending that? Cause I'm a communicator now. Like what, what does this mean? Like, what do you mean by, don't be sending me subliminals, bitch. T tell me what you want, okay? He was like, yes, I am trying to tell you something. I know I can just hear his fucking voice when I read his messages. I was trying not to be triggered by him because I was really like wanting him to be the complete side of what I used to see him as. But he is who the fuck he is, you know? But you know what I was trying to do? I was trying to understand this person like in a different capacity. Instead of trying to understand this person from an angle of, of hurt, I was trying to understand them from another angle of just being a human. He didn't switch up the words. He, he was singing the song, like, I want to sit on it. And I thought he was trying to tell me if he was that he was gay or something. Like, why would you send me a song talking about you want to sit on it? That's a, a, a song for women, anyway. And then, hold on, let me see if it's time for me to go to this office and eat a treble. Blah, blah, blah. Let me tell y'all what, what triggered me. After that, I basically said, like, I was, we was talking about Zodiacs. And I'm like, yeah, Aries and Sagittarius, they have good conversations and they have good chemistry. But that's it. Like, you know, they're not really good for each other. And I was trying to say something about that. Basically trying to get to it faster. Like, what do you want? Why, why are you back over here? Like, what's up? What's he asking me a message? Like, do you ever want to be married, Steph? And he spells Steph with a lowercase s and two f's s-t-e-f-f -F. first of all bitch you better uppercase that shit it's the name and second of all that's not how you spell my name it's a p-h-o so spell that shit properly and then i i felt the intention behind like what what the, why the fuck you asking me do i ever want to be married yes i do but never to a nigga like you like where is this coming from so i feel like it was going to a path where because this person like when i say this person like really hurt me and like made me question like my self-worth and this happened like years and years ago by him saying that do you ever want to be married like we wasn't even talking about i feel like he was that was him going back to, to his level of being a master manipulator and still seeing if I was gonna meet him there. Bitch, I know a little more about myself than who the fuck I am. And I know what you're trying to do right now, so I just cut all communication after that. So I told him how to spell my name, bitch. You been knowing me for how long? And you know my name ain't no S T E F F. It's, it's, if you wanna abbreviate me, bitch, capitalize that shit and it's S T E P H. Now, the way I deal with my emotions. I, I am, I, I practice being like a little more self-aware. So I was like, hmm, this is triggering. And then I had to understand why I'm being triggered because I know what intention this person has right now. Like I, I'm able to identify it because I know you. Like I know this, I've been here before. Like, like come on, come on. So I was able to identify it and put a stop to the conversation. Like, and then I don't even have to like block people no more. I can just stop talking to you because I didn't have a desire to before. And I don't be blocking people because, bitch, when I'm on vacation or if I'm doing something, bitch, I want you to see. The foot, since you want to be nosy anyway. Like, okay, so let's go back to the mold because we over there. Let me remind y'all when I first got here how dirty that fucking room was that I moved into and dusty they supposed to clean up the space after a person moves out so even when i moved in my uh roommate because she had already been in there she was like oh sorry that is um a little dirty or whatever why are you sorry you don't work in building yeah so today i had went to the building office and like energy uh like energy don't lie so the first interaction i had with these building people i just hate when black women be acting like Some older women, they be acting like bitches, you know? I say black women because I'm a black woman and sometimes that shit be throwing me off. 
Like, why are you acting like that? So the first interaction I had when I uh, went in there, this was like a few weeks ago. No, this was earlier this month. And I had asked the lady if they had any more like room dividers. And um, the, one of the ladies, she was about to go to the back and check and see. And then um, at first she was like, oh, we don't pro we don't provide room dividers. And then she like, hold on, let me go back and see. I'm like, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, you know, so she was running to the back. And then the other lady that worked there, she's sitting on the desk like she's a boss speech talking about some uh-uh we don't provide that we don't provide that i'm like bitch all right calm down i ain't say that but i was just ignoring her uh -uh, we don't provide that i'm like all right cool i'm peeping the energy it's like all right cool so i signed in you know and then i left so today i had one in there and i told them i notified them i had mold in my room and the lady that had the bitchy energy before she wasn't in there i guess she's the manager and they was like uh they had me write down what room i'm in and they was like okay um okay what the manager not here right now uh but when she stopped by we're gonna go over and look at it all right first of all why y'all gotta wait till the manager come back for y'all to go look at the mode to see if it's to see if what i'm saying is accurate go send somebody over there to clean that shit up right now I ain't say that. I be saying all extra shit that I didn't say, but still, this is how I feel. So they had me write my room number on the sticky notes, and then I was like, uh, "Do you need my name and my number so you guys can, you know, call me and I can meet you over there so I can show you where it is?" The uh, lady that was in the back, she was sitting on the table. She was like, "Oh, I know where you, I know where you live, because everybody lives close to each other, bitch." I wrote down my room number and my name and i was like uh can y'all call me or can y'all have the manager call me uh before y'all go over there so i can meet you guys over there and she was like um and then i was like so i can show y'all exactly where the mold is and she was like don't worry about it we'll we, we gonna find it i'm like okay but i i still want to be there you know so i can move my things you know and then she ain't say nothing else you i'm telling you notify me before you come in my because i don't feel comfortable with y'all hoes in my room moving all my shit around trying to find some fucking mold that i can easily tell you where it's at if i'm there and i feel like them bitches gonna go in my room without my consent anyway because that's what hoes be doing just be doing shit just get a little power and just try to control your fucking world all right y'all so i'm about to go right now and I wish I could take y'all with me for the chance. Um, and I'll let y'all know what happens when I get back.